so hey there welcome to my channel so in this particular set of four videos uh, the playlist would be in the i button uh, i would be telling you how you can just configure google cloud and wordpress together so uh, this will be a set of four videos uh, the first one would be setting up google cloud account and uh, virtual machine instances uh, then we would be uh, installing Vasta CP for multiple websites and then we would be using uh, Let's Encrypt for SSL encryption and at last we would be setting up the WordPress. So the basic configuration that is the part one is very easy. Uh, you just need to go on uh, Google Cloud page, uh, right press the link. Then uh, you just need to click try it free. So that uh, and then you just need to use one of your account uh, google account it should be mandatory your gmail account that is google account so that you actually uh, can avail this google service so this form is pretty easy you just need to select country and uh, accept all of these stuff and on this particular page that is going to appear uh, here you will need to be uh, Putting all the details that if you are registered in the usual or under the usual and then your card details. So basically, this card details won't be deducted, uh, amount would be deducted uh, one or two dollar, I think, and then it would be refunded to your account again. And uh, you will get dollar three hundred for free uh, when you sign up for this. That is. Uh, the next 12 months you would get free servers uh, under dollar 300 so basically we will be setting up a free site on google cloud platform uh, i have already done this process on another account so i won't be doing it again i just uh, so this is the account and uh, Now I will be just heading over to the dashboard. So this is particularly the Google Cloud Platform dashboard. From here you need to select your project. So this is my first project. We will be creating a new project. Uh, let's name this as uh, Bite Book. And uh, let's create it. Now I've created this project. I'll be selecting this project. Uh, just wait a few seconds so that this project gets manipulated in the Google services. And uh, we've selected this project. Now we have opened this project, and uh, you'll be needing to click the products and services. And here you'll see computer engine. In this computer engine, you need to click VM instances. Now, in the VM instances, uh, this is uh, this page that says I think the limit I have uh, two. So, I'll be just pausing this video by the time this gets loaded. So, this page is uh, loaded and we'll be heading over to creating a uh, VM. So this is the creation page and I'm now going to name this instance uh, books wordpress and uh, Google will be the same. Now I'm going to have a really very really small micro uh, machine because I don't want much uh, CPU and uh, memory on my uh, wordpress site. Uh, if the CPU throttles in the future you can just upgrade to small or one V CPU. Uh, you won't need more than that I think for one WordPress site I don't know the uh, particulars for how many sites you're going to uh, just do on your server so in this uh, boot machine type uh, you just uh, need to select Ubuntu 16.04 NTS uh, sites will be the same you need to allow uh, HTTP and HTTP uh, traffic and uh, then you would be just creating this one So like in some like 30 or 30 seconds or 1 minute this will be ready. Okay, so now your instance is running. And uh, let's test it by using the SSH. Uh, you need to allow your pop-ups 
just remember that Google will the law enforcement message. I would recommend this instead of uh, putting process because this is more feasible and it's more easy for anyone to do. So you will be loading this session. So yeah, your VM is working very perfectly. There is no problem with the VM. Okay, so the server is ready. Now we can head over to the part two of this video. Uh, for the West of the team, so let's go.